Today we're doing our next video, uh, it's all about Bordeaux. We have Max Seychelles, the pleasure of Max here today, and Marafelt at Home Delivery Wine. We're going to be talking about uh, new wines coming from Bordeaux from the visit we had in April this year, and some exciting new wines for Christmas. Well, do you want to tell us a wee bit about Seychelles wines and yourself and a bit of background? Yeah, so um, Seychelles, uh, so everything started in Germany well, a long time ago. Um, before the, in the 19th century, yeah. where we're, we were wine merchants. We were selling wine uh, in England, in Germany, and a bit around the world. So they were wine merchants, so they were selling wine from Bordeaux, Bordeaux properties. Most of the wines were going to England, and a bit uh, in America and China, around the world. Yeah. And um, afterwards, the, the family wanted to, to, to become producers. Mm -hmm. uh, know more about uh, uh, the wine, more, uh, know more about the viticulture. So they bought, so my great grandfather, Alan Sichel, in uh, 1938, bought just before the Second World War shares in Chateau Palmer. Afterwards, they invested quite a lot in the vineyard, and uh, today it's, uh, there's two families that own Chateau Palmer, it's Seychelles and Famille Malherbes. Well, on the, uh, on the Chateau Palmer, 2005 was a specifically good vintage. Yes, yes. Do you yes. want to talk yeah. about, we've got so, the 2005 so here. This so. is Chateau Palmer 2005. Well, I'm so happy to be here. When I came in, I saw this uh, Palmer 05. I saw these Alter Ego 11, 9, 6, and even 4 yeah. that are tasting amazing today. It's a great vintage for, for, for Palmer. It was yeah. an amazing vintage, very hot, very sunny, had the right uh, temperature, the right, the right water. And this is a very, I'm very happy to see it here in Northern Ireland. And um, uh, it would be a great gift for Christmas, for example. Yeah. Max, the yeah. Alter Ego, do you want to yeah. pick a vintage? Al Al Alter Ego, ah, I would maybe pick, I don't know, do you have 06, 11, 9, 4? Four as well, yeah. Four, and Not much four are, left. No, this is very limited stock, yeah. and I'm so happy to yeah. see it here yeah. on shelves. Yeah. We run out of it. We don't yeah. have any of this, right. and this is a great, great opportunity. Uh -huh. um, 2006, more than 10 years. Yeah. Alter Ego drinks perfectly now, mm -hmm. and the 2006 shows very well. Even the four, which is very limited, and 11, nine, great vintage. These are great vintages. Uh, the 06 of, so this comes from Palmer. We're wanting to make this um, uh, wine that's more accessible on the young vintages. Yes. And um, uh, it aged perfectly yeah. also. And now it's showing perfectly. And, and, and these will age for another 20 years, Max? Oh yeah, yeah. No yeah. problem. We're yeah, going to move cool. on then, Max, to um, Shadow Angladet. So yes. So do you want to? Talk to us about this one. We've opened one here and we'll get to taste it in a second, great. hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Yes. That would be great. So um, uh, I'll pour it and you chat away there. About okay. So Chateau Angludé. Uh, my, my grandfather uh, decided to, to buy this uh, chateau and invested a lot of time, a lot of money in the, in the vineyard. And today it's a 32 hectare uh, vineyard. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's a... It's a Always uh, in Angoulême, we have quite a lot of Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes. So for the 2012, for example, we have 48% of Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. 40% of Merlot. Yeah. And we have 12% of Petit Verdot, mm -hmm. which is which is quite unusual for Angoulême. But this comes from my grandfather and my uncle Ben, who lives in the property also, uh, uh, who's fond of Petit Verdot. It's quite unusual to have quite a lot of Petit Verdot in the, in the Margot uh, region. Okay, well let's get into the, yeah. the best part. The best part is the tasting, yeah? So it's very smooth, very elegant, and it's silky tannins. And that's also a characteristic of a uh, Margot region. And then the um, <coughs> next one we're gonna talk about is um, actually a personal Favorite of mine, Chateau Perron. Chateau Perron uh, is a, a 22 hectare uh, vineyard in La Lande de Pomerol and owned uh, by uh, the family Massoni. Well, this is the uh, 2009 La Fleur. So, um, 2009 La Fleur, La Fleur Perron. Mm. 
Perron Lafleur. It has the right density and it's uh, very uh, round. There's 80% of Merlot in, the, in this wine. Mm -hmm. Always more Merlot because it's on the right bank, La Lande de Pomerol. And it uh, has this uh, right density, the right fruit, and mm. uh, these silky and fine tannins. It's also very powerful. But it's quite um, well balanced actually, but very powerful from 2009 vintage. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great vintage in Bordeaux. It's, get, it's getting better, because yeah. yeah, yeah, it's getting better. And in, in, uh, we've opened it, how long ago? An hour ago? Mm -hmm. mm. It's beautiful. This is the typical one you want for Christmas too. Mm. Has a, yeah, for the meal, has a great, mm -hmm. great power, great structure, but very well balanced and very soft also. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful bottle of wine. Max, whenever we were in Bordeaux, we went to see the Adams family. So it's a, a, a Californian family, Stephen and Denise Adams, uh, who grow this, this amazing wine in Saint-Emilion uh, with a, a fabulous wine grower, Eloi Jacob, who makes it so it's totally organic and uh, it's going to be uh, um, uh, available soon in, in Northern Ireland. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's arriving in, well, we'll definitely have it for Christmas. Great. So this is a great Christmas wine, we're having this coming. We tasted it when we were there back mm. in April. Um, beautiful vineyard, a lot of history. A lot of history. I remember Denise telling the story where after they'd arrived in Bordeaux, they had found this old label of the wines mm. and uh, the chateau had the two pillars on each side, yeah. but exactly. when they bought it, there was only one. Exactly. And they had realized that during the war, apparently exactly. it had been bombed or damaged yeah. in the war. So yeah. they had uh, sourced the same sandstone or whatever it's made of and they had rebuilt it back exactly. to its former glory. Exactly. And it's amazing. The, the wine is uh, perfectly wine, uh, well balanced and it ages for years and years. Yeah. yeah. Well, we do have order placed for home delivery wine. It's on its way to us. I think we've ordered three different vintages of the best they've got to offer. So we look forward to that arriving in and we'll have it for Christmas, which will be brilliant for gifts and uh, corporate orders and everything else. Great, exactly. Well, Max, yeah. thank you very much for your time. It's thank been you, a Jamie. pleasure having you, you here. Much. Really enjoyed that. Thank, thank you. you.